All right, we're here with Grambling State baseball coaching legend Wilbur er, Wilbur Ellis. Excuse me, Coach. How are you today? Well, I was doing fine until we lost this big ball game today. You know, it wasn't really Grambling's day. All comes bad, and then plus the fact our pitching one going real good. Our senior pitcher Turner, I thought sure that he would be better today than he, than he ended up being. But tomorrow we do have tomorrow. It sounds like you're still active with the team. That's great. Well, yes, I, I, I guess I serve more as a mentor, you know, and uh, come around the ballpark, talk to the coach. Coach Cooper played for me, and then he played professional ball in the Astro organization. So, yeah, I love baseball, and then plus the fact I work part-time with NCAA. I do regional, super regional, on into Omaha with a clinic. Coach, congratulations this past week. You were honored with uh, the Grambling baseball field being renamed after you, and uh, Coach Jones was honored posthumously. Could you talk a little bit about that honor? Well, you know, it's great to be at Grambling State University. I think it's the greatest university in the world, you know. And plus the fact uh, President Jones found baseball in 1926, and then he coached it until 77. I took over. And Seven and seven, and coached it to 2003. Plus the fact I played for Coach Jones, and then I was his assistant for 17 years. So everything has been excited at Graham State University, and especially with the honor, and I'm still living, you know. And most times, a uh, deceased person received this, and it was an honor to be honored at the same time as my former coach, as well as. Uh, President Jones, you know, great man. Absolutely. And I've read that you're still active in the athletics department, not just with baseball, but in other facets. Could you talk well, a little bit about that? Yeah, I do. I uh, serve more as uh, to the AD. I give him a little advice on whatever is needed and uh, I serve on the neighborhood uh, advisor council for the president. So, you know, I'm still active and uh, as needed. I'm not on the payroll. Everything is volunteer because I love my alma mater and I want to do all I can for it while I can. Could you talk about your involvement with the Eddie Robinson Museum? Well, yeah, well, the Eddie Robinson Museum started in 1999. Uh, first started at a visit the uh, Bear Bryant Museum in uh, Alabama and uh, I saw the museum and I said, you know, if Bear Bryant can have a museum like this, why not Eddie Robinson? Well, we started and a group of us got together, but we could never get it going financially here and now. Really wanted to get it done before Coach passed, but we did. And so a year ago, we opened the museum and uh, thousands and thousands of people from all over the current country came to uh, the grand opening. And uh, what a museum to see. Over 15,000 people have been there within a year. I uh, can't wait to visit it. Uh, the swag staff, we have to visit since we're here for the, um, the baseball tournament in Shreveport. Well, you should visit, and yes. when you walk in, you know, you're going to see the great statue of Eddie Robinson. You're going you're gonna to say, hey, that coach is now. He's not dead. <laughs> he looks so real, you know. And yeah. the timelines that are involved in the museum from birth to the end of his life, from over 200 players who played in the NFL. The Pro Hall of Fame, he has four Pro Hall of Famers. Uh, all of that is there. All the great games Eddie Robinson played in the Yankee Stadium, Hawaii, uh, Tokyo, Japan, and even the 408 game, you know? you see all of that. And then you hear the great American Eddie Robinson speaking to his team, talking, and uh, it's just so exciting. But I bet you call me and tell me and say, Coach Ellis, you know what? When I left out, I had tears in my eyes. Such a great man. Such a great man like Eddie Robinson. Well, you're a great man as well. Coach, thank you so much for your time today. Well, I want to give you uh, give you your flowers too, and you're doing a good job, and uh, I was very, you know, complimentary to you and uh, watch you as you move around the stadium. Uh, meeting people, your personality, and 
Spike should be proud of you. But I don't think they can keep you, though. I think you're going to slip away one day. Somebody's going to tap you. Thank you, Coach. Thank you for and, being here. Oh, thank you. And good luck to your Tigers tomorrow. They oh, we got to win tomorrow. That's right. There won't be no tomorrow. Thank right. you. You're welcome. Have a good year.